Yeah, I was looking at this scandal sheet here that's yeah. available at the supermarkets, and you and I have been talking about the different scandals that we know about. Mm -hmm. Can you, would you like to sort of give us your viewpoint of what the real scandal is right now yeah. as regards energy? Yeah, if I look to all these scandals, you know, murderers and uh, sexual abuse and whatever you see here in this uh, National Enquirer or what, whatsoever the paper is, uh, the real s scandal is, you know, without education and without consideration and refusing to discuss such new uh, products and processes, you, we will never get forward. We only can get forward if we see there is a solid and a viable solution and now let us see how can we implement it, how can we go forward with it. If you walk on the surface of this planet, you really have in a distance of let's say 10 miles always the high temperatures that are required to provide or generate inexpensive electricity. They are so simple the facts, you know. It needs no rocket scientists, you know, to right. understand this technology. Look, if you look to Turbojack, it is about digging. Right digging more efficient, faster, quicker, and so forth. And this is something, if you see such a video with a turbojack operating on a backhoe, you can instantaneously understand what's going on with pulsating power. And this is where the ordinary people are, I believe, more open-minded. If you look to the costs, you know, you see uh, one tunnel costs about uh, has about the price of a cruise ship and and look how long is the life of a cruise ship and what is the income of a cruise ship and then if you look to the lifespan it's estimated for 120 160 years for a vertical tunnel then you can see the economic advantages that comes out of such a vertical tunnel and you're not producing any pollution no nothing the only thing is the excavating material. Right. Partly we take the, the material back for the walls, uh, but the others we can use for many purposes. We looked in uh, areas, you know, where we have flooding uh, rivers, we can build dams out of the material and have a lot of uh, opportunities with these materials. And we're not talking about huge mile across tunnels. That's one of the things I think if people are listening, it's like, oh my goodness me, we're going to have yeah, it's just, huge tunnels. Yeah. How wide would be it? Yeah, the, wide, be? It's, the witness is just uh, three meters, you know, and therefore it is actually not a big deal. Yeah, you feel we're all running out of time? Yeah. On the planet? This is hard to say, you know. Look, if you kill more people mm -hmm. by pollution, Right. Let's just say that uh, you will suddenly see a drop in pollution. <laughs> you have a drop also in energy, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is a crazy world, you know. And on the other token, there's definitely no other way we will run out of these resources. Right. So, I, almost as a final thing, would be saying that we can't wait 50 years for the solutions. Yes, exactly. Therefore, we need people that tell others. The systems exist, the cheap, inexpensive and green energy exists, we can use it and we can change our world for the better, for better life, for better air, for better water and so forth, you know. And therefore I think it is really, this education is the main important thing right now what we need.